Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. The S&P 500 was up 0.1%, which isn't a lot, but it did hit an all-time high today, which is kind of exciting. And the Dow hit an all-time high today. And the Dow goes back to 1883. So that's kind of a big deal uh, to get to a high. The NASDAQ was down today. That's more of our growth type stocks. As I mentioned yesterday, when you see the yields on bonds going up, which they went up today, you'll probably see growth stocks go down and value stocks go up. That's exactly what happened today, actually. And so I think you know, going forward, we're going to continue to see this hot potential economy coming at us between the stimulus and the pent up demand. And that's going to make you know interest rates go up, which probably will make uh, some trouble for the growth side. And then that leaves the value stocks. And so boy, we've seen a huge rotation. I mean, a big move over to that area. And you know, some of those stocks are up nicely 10, 20%, you know, from their bottoms, but a lot of them are still, you know, 10 to 50% off their highs uh, from where they were prior to the pandemic. So there's still some room to run there. And again, I, I kind of like this uh, arena just because it's, I, I like the fact that these things are lower price compared to earnings, which I think is great. Uh, I'd like to address a question that came to me this week uh, that I thought was really interesting. And it's just, you know, do you get nervous? You know, you're managing the money for all of these clients. Do, do you get nervous about that? And it was, you know, I had to think about it, but no, the answer is no. And so, you know, why? Well, a couple of things. Number one, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And so I've created a process that I have a lot of confidence in, you know, the whole, you know, predictive versus reactive and theme and trend and, you know, all the different signal portfolios and all the things that I've done. And, it, and it's still working for me. I still am getting where I want to go. We just rotated, you know, drastically from one side of the market all the way over the other. And, you know, in that in-between times, we didn't do that great, in my opinion, uh, but we're doing better now, you know, compared to the market. And we off, we did awesome, uh, you know, last year altogether, too. So, so I look at this, there's 256 households, and I look at the, you know, assets that I manage, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, which in most cases is everything for each one of those households. And I look at that as a responsibility. Uh, and so it's a little bit different than nervousness. And I have a visual. What I look at and think about, interestingly enough, is every, every one of the households I manage is kind of like a little fort. And then there's a fence around that fort to protect it. And that fence is the net worth. And our mission statement is to help our clients build and maintain their net worth. So what I'm trying to do is push that fence farther and farther away and build it taller and taller, in essence, building net worth. And, and really th four things that we try there. Number one is investor education. So I think that's super important. It's why I talk about this stuff all the time. Number two is you know financial planning and having a plan and knowing where you're going to go. And then tax planning. A huge part of net worth can disappear if we don't handle our taxes the correct way. And then, of course, the last thing, uh, which I work on a lot also, of course, is the investment management, uh, all of those. So I don't feel nervous about that and trying to build this fence higher and farther away. I feel motivated. Uh, it's what I look at. It's what I'm constantly reading. So when I'm, I'm reading about Roth IRA conversions or whatever it is, I'm thinking about, OK, how does this impact building that fence higher and farther away? Uh, and so it really nervousness doesn't come in, you know, the markets fall and I look at opportunity. I can see all kinds of things in those downturns. I learn a tremendous amount more usually in downturns than in upturns and I can make some repositions and what have you. So uh, I, yeah, it's, it was a, it's a really good question, but uh, it, it hasn't happened, you know, for me in that regard so for, for a long time as far as that goes, but yeah. Uh, uh, really, really fascinating market that we're in here. Never seen anything like it. Uh, it makes it interesting, but you know, I think we're on the right path. I think we've made some good moves here. You know, we still have some growth stocks. Uh, they actually did fairly well this week, which is great. So we'll see how that plays out. But uh, let's see what happens next week. I mean, this this trend that we're going on here and this little journey, I think, is quite interesting. I find this situation to be fascinating. So I look forward to talking to you on Monday. Thank you very much.